my name is Michelle and this is my first tag video and it is going to be the I Heart Spring and I think I messed that up I don't know does that look like a heart I'm gonna go through them real quick there are like 10 questions or something like that um, but I hope you like videos like this let me know give it a thumbs up if you do and uh, I'll kind of do some research on other tag videos or something um, I think they're fun and it kind of like gets everybody involved in a you know similar topic and um, the first question is your favorite nail polish or spring nail polish and I have three and they are I should have shaken them up a little bit so they look prettier for you um, the Ulta and this is the baby doll I believe that these are um, you can buy these singly as well as in the I know they come out in October like the breast cancer awareness packets where it comes with like an eyeshadow or blush or something and then the nail polish um, it's really pretty pastel it's pink it's very spring so I love that one and the next one is something you've seen me wear like a million and a half times it is the I need a refreshment by wet n wild mega last super affordable beautiful color it's not quite a mint I don't think but it's not a blue or green it's just in the middle somewhere and it's just so pretty love it and it pairs with like everything um, this next one I actually kind of like threw in the back of my um, what are they what are you called it like a, it's not a drawer but it's like this little area that I keep my nail polishes in and I pulled it out because I'm doing like a Zoya post this um this week and it is Oh, the Annika it is just beautiful you're probably not gonna get the color picked up too well on here but it's got kind of a purple undertone it's like a deep hot pink purpley um, it doesn't scream spring but it's just so pretty and I'm like back in love with it so check that out the next question is what is your must-have lip color for spring and I have three of those as well I'm probably not gonna have like one of anything or I know I have one of something I have it down here I'm looking at it. Um, the first one is going to be kind of a nude more of an everyday look it's by Mary Kay this is in pink parfait and then it's just a creamy light pink I actually won this in a giveaway and I'm so glad that I did because I am obsessed with it obsessed um, the next one is going to be studio gears innocent says right there. and it is like this sparkly glittery pink but it's not you don't get the glitter on your lips you're not like a little 12 year old with you know sparkly glitter going to the school dance it, it doesn't come off like that it's just this beautiful creamy it actually smells like Christmas to me so maybe it has like a hint of peppermint or cinnamon in it I, you know me I'm horrible at pinpointing scents so perfect for spring and if I want to have just a little bit of a deeper color maybe it's date night or something I always bust out my beauty for real I got this in I believe my wantable box back in January and it is in just lust and it's one of those bottles that kind of like lights up and has a mirror on it I haven't even taken the peely off because I'm one of those people that like leaves the stickers on things and like just kind of looks around it like I got a new palette the other day and I still have the sticker over the mirror I, I'm just I'm always that way number three where'd it go oh there it is show us your favorite spring dress and I don't really have a favorite spring dress there's one that I wore on um, Easter was it? no I don't know was it Easter I don't know I wore it to my in-laws house so it's probably in the laundry right now because it was a couple days ago but it's just like this really bright color sort of a print kind of like this and I love this shirt by the way and it, you could tie it or not tie it it's kind of a lime green um, it's got like little leaflet things to keep it light and flowy. It's kind of a three-quarter, but you could probably roll it up even higher. Walmart. I got this at Walmart. It was like $10 or something like that. And it came with both pieces. And I just, it's it's spring and it's pretty and it's got like the cheetah-ish print, but it's not too obnoxious. And 
um, in your face. So I love it. Uh, so this will be my favorite dress for number three. Number four, what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower for spring is going to be a lilac. And we don't have them out here in Arizona, but back in New York when I grew up, we had a lilac tree. My mom would trim some off and put them in the vase on the kitchen table and like smelling them in perfumes and different things now as an adult, it kind of brings me back to those moments and I, I miss her. I miss you, mom. I love you. And yeah, lilac. Favorite spring scarf or accessory? And lately I've been kind of hippie-ish. I've been really into the flowers and headbands and things like that. So that's what I picked to show you guys. Um, you've seen most of them already, but I'll just, you know, showing my favorites. And this is um, a really pretty, it's got a pearl in the middle of the flowers and headband. I wore this in a couple of my videos that have been up recently. It's just got like a, a twill kind of band to it. It's stretchy so it doesn't hurt my head and you can wear it like a regular headband or like more of a crown and I just think it's perfectly girly and very spring. Um, the next one is just a plain like sparkle kind of headband. Let me see if I can get the sparkles to show up. There we go. And I actually made this one. I put the elastic on the back because Again, I have a very sensitive head or a very picky head. If I buy headbands that are structured, it just, they hurt. So I usually go for ones that have the stretch. And actually the next two I made as well, I've been kind of into these flowers. And I'm sure you've seen those as well. Usually when I wear them, Sophia asks to wear the other one. So I made both of them long enough that each of us can wear them. She wore this one where it's like a full kind of halo one on um, Easter. So she's out there picking her eggs out of the ground with her beautiful little flower halo. Very spring, very Eastery. And I just, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I don't know if it'll go with my look today. Number six, what spring trends are you most excited about this year? Makeup, fashion, or both? And the first thing that pops into my head is we walked into Kohl's the other day and I saw this shirt in the juniors area and I don't usually shop in the junior area. I feel like it either doesn't fit me, it looks too much like a preteen kind of thing, but this one item caught my eye. It was um, a sleeveless kind of, I guess it was a little bit thicker of a material than this but still light and flowy and it went to a V and then had buttons and then it had like a peach rim around the bottom but the back it wasn't quite a tail but it was longer and I just wanted it so bad but it was like $28 or something like that and I just I can't bring myself to bring that you know on myself I'd spend that on the kids probably um, a couple of items of clothes for that price but I just couldn't bring myself to get it, but I took a picture of it and I told Michael I want it, so maybe for Mother's Day. Um, but it's just so cute and I keep seeing that style of like that sleeveless, very flowy, very easy going. I like things that are comfortable. You look a little bit put together, um, a little bit of color and um, something that's easy to wear. I'm not really, I love accessories and things like that, but you don't find me wearing them too much because I'm kind of lazy, I'm always in a rush, or I just forget. And then I go in my closet and I'm like, oh my gosh, that necklace would have looked perfect. And then, yeah, it's too late. So, that's my very long story to what I look forward to is sleeveless shirts. <laughs> okay. Number seven, favorite spring candle. That was the easiest one to answer because I have a number one favorite candle and it is from Bath and Body Works. It is the Peach Bellini and it's a pretty peach color. It's got three wicks in it. It is so light. It smells like peach but like a candy peach and I'm addicted. Like there's one downstairs that's literally already hitting the bottom pan and I only got these like two weeks ago. Now at Christmas time it was an all white color of the peach bellini and it smelled the same and they sold, I, I didn't buy it then because it wasn't on sale and then when I went back it was out of stock. So I talked to Lydia and she said they weren't even going to have it back again. So when I went in there a couple weeks ago and they had it, I was like, I need it because yeah, I need it. They need to come out with a body spray for it, a body lotion for it, a body wash for it. They can come out with a nail polish for it. 
I will buy it. I will wear it. It smells fantastic. Go to Bath and Body Works, smell the peach bellini, you'll be in love. Number nine, what is spring like where you live? I think I've kind of touched on this before in some of my other videos, but I live in Arizona and spring doesn't exist here. It literally exists for like one week and it is breezy and beautiful and dry and you can walk outside and not sweat. Well, this week, like even sitting here doing the video, I am sweating and I have the fan on, the AC is already on. Like we are such wimps. For living in New York, you know, all my life, I am such a wimp when it comes to the heat here. And yeah, it's dry, it's hot already. I don't even want to go outside. Yeah. So I guess my winter is my spring. <laughs> Number 11, are you a spring cleaner? That's kind of a hard one to answer because I'm kind of an all or nothing kind of person. It's either going to be a hot mess of a house or, you know, whatever chore, or it's going to be spick and spam, perfectly done, and like almost anally retentive, OCD, perfect. And which probably is a rare, yeah, I know it's a rarity. So, I, I mean, we pick up, we're not messy, dirty people. I just mean like the extra stuff, the extra toys that are out all over the place. Even if I clean them up three times a day before I go to bed, there is still a pile of toys in the middle of the floor. I'm sure every mom has to deal with that, but um, spring cleaning though, and I. I feel like I did when I lived in New York, but that was probably my mom. She was big on cleaning. We dusted, like, all the time. I mean, like, her, like, tchotchkes and, like, little knick-knack kind of. Like, you'd have to pick everything up and then, like, move everything. It was just, ugh. Sorry, Ma. Anyways. Um, and number 12, which I thought there was only, oh, wait. Yeah, so I guess there is 12 questions. Just kidding. Um, any plans for spring break or an upcoming vacation? We don't have anything planned for spring break because the kids aren't in school yet. So we do, I actually don't even know when spring break is. Like it could have totally happened already and I don't even know. But we are planning to go to San Diego at the end of May and we'll go to the zoo there and SeaWorld and all that kind of fun stuff. The kids love, love, love animals. We felt like it was more appropriate than going back to Disney. We went to Disney when um, Sophia was first born and it was just kind of a little bit crazy. I was a little bit crazy. Uh, hormones were pumping. It was hot. I mean, we had a, a blast. I loved it, loved it, loved it. But I think the kids need to be a little bit older for us to be able to go on all the rides and have a little more patience with them, you know that kind of stuff so I'm looking forward to seeing all the sea lions and whatever that orca's name is free willy or whatever but I'm sure they're gonna love it and that is our vacation plans but I hope you like this video let me know and give it a thumbs up subscribe check out my blog and I'll see you guys next time bye see I told you guys I would mess this up I totally skipped to number nine which is probably the coolest one that you know I could talk about other than the candle check out that candle and that is your favorite like body spray or mist and I have two of them one of them is the Victoria's Secrets Moonlight Dream I don't know if that's coming up um, the only thing with this one is when I spray it on it smells fantastic but I feel like it wears off and like dissipates away like really fast and even when you kind of smell your shirt it's not really there anymore but the scent is totally worth it I just love it. Maybe the body lotion would be a little bit better in that scent. Um, but something that I love, 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 and it doesn't go away, and I can just always catch a breeze of it throughout my day, is the Paris Amour um, by Bath & Body Works in their signature collection. And I got this around Christmas time for my mother-in-law. Thank you. And I love it. I spritz it on. Like, sometimes even before bed, it's really calming, but it's still, like... It smells like, I feel like this is what Paris would smell like, like sophisticated and fancy and just girly and, and pretty and I, I, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So when you go to smell the candle, pick up some Paris Amore, 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 whatever. You want to say hi to everybody real quick before we go bye-bye? Yeah. Want to say hi? Oh, I just knocked everything over. <laughs> say sorry. Hey. Sorry. Say hi, guys. Eh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Alright, say so talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.